Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at something that you guys have been asking me a lot about and that is multi-cam editing. Now this is actually how I film the majority of my tutorials if you see me with this sort of talking headshot and I'm cutting between this and the tutorial itself. I don't do it all the time because it takes a little bit of extra sort of time in the editing suite but sometimes I do it and I figured it's really easy to do. Might as well show you guys because you guys keep asking. So let's go on with what we have in the setup today and we're gonna cut this into a multi-cam sequence. So I have my Nikon Z6 shooting me straight on here. I also have my iPhone 10 shooting me from this angle and then I'm recording audio with a H1N zoom that you can see here attached to my jumper. So we're gonna use the audio from the zoom as the sort of main audio and then we'll cut between the cameras and we'll show you how to do it. It's pretty easy to set up and once you've got it set up in DaVinci Resolve, it's super, super simple to cut together and edit and really powerful, especially if you're filming yourself and you wanna set up a couple of different angles, really, really powerful editing technique. So without further ado, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve, cut together these two cameras here and see how we get on. All right guys, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. So we're gonna import the media that we just filmed. So command I to import and we're just gonna import all that footage and we're just not gonna worry about changing the frame rate. So here we have, the footage from the Z6 that we were just looking at. And we have the iPhone footage, and then we have the audio from the Zoom H1N. So to create a multi-cam clip, all we need to do is highlight all the media that you want to include in it, then right click and go create new multi-cam clip. And then we can name whatever we want. So we can just call this intro frame rate, make sure that obviously it's the same frame rate as the videos that we filmed in. And then angle sync is the most important one. This is what the uh, sort of the algorithm is going to use to sync these clips together. So if we go down on the drop down arrow, we got the in and out, we have time code, sound or markers. Now for the majority of uses, we're gonna be using sound and for this one we are as well. So we're gonna click sound. Now the next one we can look at is angle name. So this is what it's going to name the different angles in the shot currently set to sequential. So we're just gonna have angle one, two, three. What I like to do is actually just go metadata camera um, that way we know exactly what clip is what, um, but whatever works for you, doesn't really matter. Some people like sequential. I just prefer to have metadata camera and we're just gonna go create. And it's gonna do its thing. This is in real time, very, very quick. And what we're left with is now our multi-cam clip there and then all the original clips in a separate folder. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag that clip down onto the timeline. All right, so what we're gonna do is make sure you have both viewers open. So obviously on the right hand side, we have our timeline. On the left hand side, we wanna go down here to this little symbol, hit the down arrow and change it to multi-cam. By doing that now, you can see our different angles. What we wanna do now is pick the audio track for the main clip and then pick which video track we want to start with. So to do that, down here in the timeline, you can see that the current clip it is using the camera zoom for the audio. So we're using the H1N audio, which is what we want, but we're actually using the video from that as well, which doesn't work because we didn't record any video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the top video, even though it's both selected. So right click on the top and we're gonna switch multi cam clip angle and we're gonna switch it to camera two so that we're using the Nikon Z6 one. And as you can see here, it hasn't changed the audio at all. So now we're using the video from the Nikon and with the audio from the H1N. That being said, say you didn't record with a separate recorder, but you maybe had another camera with a microphone that you wanna use the audio from, you can right click on the audio, switch multi-cam clip angle, select whichever one you want there, and then that'll change it. And this is what we're gonna use for default. So if we have go here, we've got our claps at the start that we don't need. So we're just gonna go forward and we're gonna delete that starting of the footage. Now the rest of it is pretty, pretty simple. We can do it in real time just by clicking on whichever angle we want. Important to note that if you don't want to change the audio, say you've done it like I have, so you have a separate audio recorder, you wanna make sure that you have just the film strip selected here. And what that is going to do is if we move forward and we change angle, it's only going to change the video angle. And if you had video and audio, it's actually gonna change the audio as well. So generally what I like to do is have obviously my audio recorder to record all the audio and then we're just gonna change the video angle. And now it's a matter of just playing through the clip and clicking on whichever one we want. You'll see it works in real time and going through. I'm just literally just clicking as we go. And now what we have is our multi 
cam clip nice and cut together with very little hassle in the editing suite. And we can just literally just go through, play our clip through and click, click, click to swap the angles. And you can do this with as many cameras as you want. Like I said, I tend to like to record my audio separately. That's how I do it. But if you wanted to record the main audio through the first camera, we can do that as well. So really easy to accomplish. So there you have it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said, it wasn't too complicated. Hopefully it was easy for you to follow along. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And yeah, until the next video guys, see ya.